Hello and welcome to this new video of a guy in sneakers. In this video I'm going to present you an Excel program which allows you to generate barcode without having to handle macro programming visual basic and no Excel function. The program is available with a link present in the description of the video. With this program we'll be able to make barcode of type EAN13, whole type of code 128 and code 3 of 9. So I'm going to show you how to install it and how to use it. You will see it's very simple. First step in the downloaded folder, you will install the fonts. To do this, double click on the file and once it is open, click on the install button. For my part, a message appears simply because these fonts are already installed on my computer. When the install button grayed out, the font is installed. Second step, we will install the additional macro in Excel. In a downloaded folder, here, right click on the old CB auto point XLAM and choose copy option. Then open Excel, go to the file menu, option menu, and choose add-ins. At the bottom of the windows, click on the go button, then click on the browse button. In the right part of the new window are the additional macros already present in Excel. Right click, then choose past option. Our additional macro is added to the available macros. Click to OK button. Then in this window, make sure that our macro is checked. Like this. And click on OK. At this stage, the macro is available in Excel. To make its use easier, we will create shortcut buttons. Return to the File menu, then Option menu, and choose Customize Ribbon. In the right part, click on New tab. You can move your new tab using the arrows on the right or with a click and drag. Then we will rename the tab for that right click and choose the rename option. For the demonstration, we will call it automatic barcode. and click OK. Now we will insert the two necessary macros in our new tab. In the central part, choose the command. We will select the macro option in the drop-down menu. The list of all available macros appears. We are going to add two macros. The macro CB automatic and CB automatic list. Make sure uh, you are positioned here in the tab. Then select the first macro and click to the add button. Do the same with the second macro. For aesthetic reason we will modify the symbol of our two macros. Position yourself on the first one, click make a right click, sorry, and choose the rename option. I chose this one but you can choose the one you want. And you click on OK. And in the same way choose a different symbol for the second macro. Rename and I choose this symbol. When done click OK. Excel now displays a new tab. I met a little problem in my second macro. Rename. OK. OK. Now I'm going to show you how the two macros work. First case, you only have one code to transform like this
you select the cell that contains your code and in your new tab you click on the CB automatic button. You choose that uh, the type of code that you want and you validate. Then select the destination cell and click on OK. And you have your barcode. Like I say, it's very, very easy. Second case with a list of code to transform. For the example, your code, we choose another type of barcode for this example. And maybe in your tab, you have another column. I make a copy of this code like that. Then you uh, select at first the cell contain the first code to transform into a barcode. Then you click on your new tab on the button CB automatic list. You select the type of code you want and you validate. Here you have a message, enter the number of lines to convert here and before confirming make sure you are positioned in the first cell, it is not the case, click on cancel. I need to, uh, to write the number lines to convert. We have 22 lines, but the first line is the header. Well, 21 lines. And I click on OK. I have a new message. Do you want to replace existing code? If you answer yes, all of your code will be replaced by barcode. If you answer no, an annex colon will be created automatically. In our example, we will answer no. The last information the program will need will be the colon number containing the code. In our example, it is the colon A, therefore number 1. I click on OK. All the data in colon N has been transformed into barcode in colon B. The advantage of this system is that even if you close your file and open Excel again, you keep the button used to make barcode, so you have this available in any XA file. I show you. I don't save, I open Excel, and my new tab are again here. As specified at the beginning of the video, this program is available for download on my website, the link of which can be found in the description of the video. If you have any questions or comments, please use the contact tab on my website. And if you like this video, do not hesitate to leave a like. Thank, Thank you for your attention and we will meet again soon for a new video. See you soon!